formula we just talked about an empirical formula is what? The simplified. So when you get the subscripts in an empirical formula, they should be in their simplified ratio already. You shouldn't have to do any simplifying. So if you do, something's wrong. You did something wrong somewhere. So this says nitrogen and oxygen form an extensive series of oxides with the general formula NXOY. One of them is a blue solid that comes apart reversibly in the gas phase. AP is famous for this. Does any of that really matter? No. No. Doesn't matter it's blue, doesn't matter. It's just kind of there, and they're called distractors. So just be aware of that. Um, it contains 36.84% nitrogen. What is the empirical formula? All right. You're only given one amount, and you know you have two things. But it gives you a percent, which means what can you do? Or 100%. Right? So if the whole compound is going to be 100%, then that's going to equal N plus O. So if you do 100 minus 36.84, you should get the percent of O, which is going to be 63.16% O. Okay, now what do I do with my percentages? How do I go from percent to grams? You can't really do anything with percent. You assume 100. Okay, you assume 100. Some people got confused with this. You don't divide by 100. You just say in your head, I'm assuming 100 grams. And you just simply change the percent sign to a gram sign. So instead of writing 36.84%, I just write 36.84 G, grams. Make my tic-tac-toe board. And then I'm 63... 0.16 grams up. Any questions so far? Almost all formulas, what's the next step? Grams to moles by divided by the molar mass. So I'm just going to do 14.01 grams and 16 grams. Now, it's really important for empirical and probably for hydrates that you round to at least three decimal places, because sometimes you're going to get things that are very close. So I get 2.630 moles and 3.948 moles of O. Okay, now what? We're empirical. Divide by the smallest. So the smallest is, why do we do this? Right, because if you divide by the smallest, at least one of them is going to end up being what? One. If you divide something by itself, it's automatically going to be one. Now I'm going to get 1.5 moles O here. What do I do? Why do you multiply by two? Because if it's one half and you want to get rid of it, what do you multiply by? The reciprocal, just two. Important thing to remember is you multiply each one by two, not just the O. So when you multiply N by two, you get N2 and then O3. Is that a simplest ratio? Yes. Yes. Wait, two to three is simplified. Yes. So for those problems last night, we're just giving the equation and it said 